Hi my little rainbows, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own thumbnail using Pixlr E. I have made a tutorial like this in the past, but I thought I'd update it because I have tweaked my thumbnail style just a little bit since the last time i done this tutorial. And for those who don't know what my thumbnail style looks like, it's this and I have used this style for quite a while now. So we're going to start off by making a GFX with a transparent background, that way it can easily fit on the thumbnail. So I'm I'm going to start by making a GFX and if you don't know how to make a GFX then I recommend you go watch this beginner tutorial right here which will help you out a lot and you can learn all of the basics on how to do that. I'm also just going to be adding a prop, so I'm just going to go to the toolbox and search for a prop that I want. And I'm just going to export my character into the little prop. I'm also just going to be doing all of the basics, like importing my character into Look Studio and all of that. And I'll just show you how to get the transfer background onto your GFX. Alright, so once you have completely set up your GFX, this means lighting, denoising, posing, everything, you're going to want to click on the camera icon on the side, and you're just going to want to scroll down to where it says FFmpeg video, click it and change it to PNG. Then you're just going to press RGBA right here and scroll down and click the box where it says transparent. And you can click this little ball right over here and go into rendered mode. And as you'll see, it has a transparent background. So all you have to do is press render and render the image. Once it is fully rendered, I'm just going to save the GFX and I'm going to exit out of Blender. The next step that we're going to be doing is opening up Polar. Now, if you don't know what Polar is, it is a website for adding filters to your GFX. So I've already made a tutorial where I teach you how to add filters to your GFX. So if you want to know how to make your own filter, then you can go check out that video. I'm just going to import my GFX and quickly add one of the pre-made filters that I have created. I'm just going to be adding in my filter and then saving it. And now we're finally going to be using Pixlr. This is what I use to edit all my thumbnails. As you can see, I've edited one right over here. This is where all your projects are going to be. So if you have not used it yet, this is where they're just going to pop up once you start creating your project. So I'm going to first start by clicking on create new right here. Next, I usually click full HD. But if you are on a little bit of a slower computer, then you can click Web 720p, but Full HD works as well. And I'm just going to name it Thumbnail Tutorial. And then just press Create right at the bottom. So next we have this blank canvas. The first thing I'm going to be doing is going into my system folders, and I'm just going to drag the GFX that I made with the filter onto the canvas. So just drop and just release and then press Add Current. And then you're going to have your GFX. Now, I usually alternate where I put my characters on, so in the last video, I had my character on this side, so I'm just going to put them on this side instead, just to balance it out. Next, I'm just going to be adding in my overlays and my background. I have a folder with all of my overlays, so right now, I'm just going to be importing my background right here, and I'm just going to drag it up to the top and make it bigger. And then what I like to do is go to the top, press filter, details, and then blur, and just blur it a tiny bit. And I'm going to move it behind the character right over there. I will leave a Google Drive link in the description which will contain this background if you want to use it for yourself. I'll next be opening my hanging stars and my slime drips. 
Now, I won't be linking these in the description. This is because I made these overlays myself, and the best way to grow your channel is by making your own overlays and coming up with your own unique style. So, if you want to see a tutorial on how to make your own overlays, then maybe I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to be importing these overlays, and there are tons of free overlays that you can find on Google and stuff like that. I'm just going to be sizing these to fit the proportions of the thumbnail. And I want the hanging stars to be over the slime drip, so I'm just going to drag them up. And I also want my character to be over everything, so I'm going to drag them up too. Now, I've noticed that whenever I import things from Bowler, there's this little black outline around it. And if you have seen my thumbnail style, I usually add outlines around everything anyways. So I'm just going to go to Filter, Inner Glow. The white is usually the preset. I'm just going to make the size all the way to 1. And I'm just going to put Feather all the way up then press apply and i'm just going to add an outline around the character now so i'm just going to go to filter outline i'm going to change the color to white and i'm just going to be amping up the size and i think that's good so i'm going to click apply and we've completely gotten rid of the black little outline so i usually add a double outline so i'm just going to quickly add another outline and i don't really like this color so i'm just going to tweak it just a little bit and I like that, so I'm going to keep that. And then just adjust your character as needed. Next, we're going to move on to my favorite part of making thumbnails, the text. So you're going to go all the way over to this little T option and then press add text right here. You're then going to want to change the font to a font that you want. I have a whole video listing all the fonts that I use, so I'm going to be linking that in the description as well. So you can go check that out. I usually start with baby doll, so I'm just going to write how I and then and move it right here and i'm just going to also add change the font and i'm just going to write how i make my and i'm also going to shorten the text box because it makes it a little bit easier in the editing process and then i'm just going to add another layer of text and i'm going to change the font once again and write thumbnails this time and as you can see it's very small so i'm just going to click this little line at the bottom and just make it larger so i think that's a good size so i'm also just going to get the thumbnails part and make it bigger as well and i usually overlap um, these two pieces of text um, but don't worry once i edit the text it'll look a lot better and for some reason i usually save the first part towards usually the end so i'm just going to focus on these pieces for now so i'm just going to be showing you how i make gradient text there is a feature right here where you can make gradient text and it's a lot easier and faster but the way i do it is a bit more just efficient and i have a lot more control on how i want the gradient to look like so that's what i do i'm just going to go to fill and make the text white i'm going to go to layer press rasterize layer and then press select and select pixels and then i'm going to click this little gradient right here and you're just going to go to gradient and just select your colors I'm just going to make the colors here just a little bit more darker. And then I'm just going to drag and create a line. And it basically just makes gradient text right there. So I'm just going to adjust it until I have something that I like. And once I'm done, I'm going to click this little tool and deselect. Next, what I do is go back to the selection tool. Press filter, inner glow. And then I will add an inner glow to this. So I'll change the color to usually preferably a hot pink or something like that. Then I press feather and put it all the way up. I usually put the size up as well and then just put the opacity down and it just looks really cool in my opinion. Next, I just press filter, drop shadow and I make a little drop shadow like that and put the opacity up and it's not going to be black don't worry so i just put it all the way up so that i can see it a little bit better then i go to color put it to pink and i'm just going to make a light pink like that and perfect and if you have seen my thumbnails i add the outline towards the end so i'm just going to do the gradient on this text as well and then i will come back with how i do the outline
So what I do first is I go to the bottom layer and then I press filter, outline, and I just make a small little white outline like this. And then what I will do is duplicate this layer by clicking the three dots and then press duplicate. And I'm going to drag this behind the make my layer right here. And then I'm going to go to the this layer right here, press filter, outline. I'm also going to make a white outline. And I'm just going to make it how big I want it to be. And then I'm going to go to the bottom thumbnails layer. And what I'm going to do for this is go to filter outline i'm going to also make this white and i'm just going to try and match the thickness that i made for this layer that way i can just have a little outline like this which separates the text right here from the text over there and i'm just going to move this text a little bit over here that way it just centers this a bit more and you're going to notice a bunch of white spaces in here so what i like to do is go up to the top click the three dots then press merge down and i merge all the layers together just the three of them and then I go to this paintbrush tool and I switch these colors so I make sure that the white is right here I go to brush I make sure that the softness is all the way down and I'm just gonna pick a nice size like this and then I'm just going to fill in all of these white spaces and I'm just gonna speed up this process And now that I'm done with all of this, I will just go add a filter outline and then I will just go to color and I will match the color to the one on my character, just like that. And I'll just change the thickness, click apply, and we're done with that. So I just like to size it, so I'm just gonna make it like that. And next we can focus on this text. I'm gonna size it up like I did for this text. And this text is usually white, so I'm gonna go back to the text feature I'm going to make it white, layer, rasterize layer, and then filter, drop shadow, and I just add the same drop shadow that I added to this text. And then I will add an outline, and it will be the same outline that I added to everything else. And this is just so it contrasts with everything else. So now I'm just going to select both of the pieces of text by pressing shift and selecting the other layer and i'm just gonna put it in the middle and i like that and some of you will notice that i usually have hearts in my thumbnail so i'll also show you how to do that this is more of a recent addition that i've added to my thumbnails so the first thing that i'm gonna do is open up my system folders and i'm gonna grab the heart overlay i'll also leave the hearts in a link in the description if you want to add them as well so i will add them like this and then i'm gonna press add current and this is what they look like so what i will do i will go to this lasso select tool and i will click this little polygon shape thingy i will zoom in and i'll just select one heart and i'll make a little box like that and all you have to do to make a box is literally just click 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 and just make a random box that surrounds the heart then press command x and then i'm just gonna press command v which pastes it on another layer and then just make it larger and put it anywhere that you want it to. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing with all of the other hearts. Next what I'll be doing is going over back to the layers tab, pressing the three dots and merging all of the hearts together. Next I will just go to edit, fill, and I'm just going to fill them with the same color that I used for the outline. Just like this. And there's also going to be like a black border around it, so I'm just going to do the same thing that we did before. Filter, inner glow, and then I just click color and I just click on the color right here and then click apply. Next, I go to filter, outline, and add a white border. I will go to then filter, details, and blur, and I will just add a little blur. And then I just lower the opacity of this as well. And that is it. So to save your thumbnail, you're going to go to file, save, and then um, you can name it again. 
I click PNG and then download. And then you can upload it to YouTube and that is how you do that. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. This was really fun to make and show you guys how I make my thumbnails. I will see you all in the next video. XOXO Rainbow.